Today's story revolves around Francis Mawson Rattenbury, a renowned British architect whose life took a dark turn, ultimately leading to his demise. Francis Mawson Rattenbury, born on October 11, 1867 in Leeds, England, was a talented architect whose career started at the age of 17. He was given an apprenticeship with the prestigious English firm Lockwood & Mawson, founded by one of the world's best architects, Henry Francis Lockwood. Rattenbury then moved to Vancouver, British Columbia in 1891, and fate had grand plans for him. His most notable achievement was winning the competition to design British Columbia's legislative building in Victoria, a symbol of the province's growing prominence. Despite facing numerous challenges, including budget overruns, the British Columbia Parliament building stood tall and proud, showcasing Roddenberry's talent. He also left his mark on the Canadian Pacific Railway with iconic projects like the Empress Hotel a magnificent chateau-style structure that graces Victoria's skyline to this day. At the end of the 19th century, Francis finally settled down, meeting and marrying Florence Eleanor Nunn in 1898, with whom he had two children, Francis and Mary Roddenberry. During his marriage to Florence, Roddenberry's personal and professional life was experiencing prosperity. Then, in 1923, it all changed when he met and started an affair with a 27-year-old musician named Alma Packenham. Francis was 56. Alma was a widow who had previously been married to royalty. Her husband's death during the First World War led to her active participation in the war effort, during which she was wounded twice. She received an award for her exceptional bravery. In 1918, she met journalist Compton Packenham, a relationship commenced ending Packenham's first marriage. Alma was cited in his divorce decree. During their short one-year relationship, the couple moved to New York City. Packenham worked for the New York Times and gave lectures, while Alma taught piano. And in 1922, Alma left Packenham and their son Christopher. In 1925, after a bitter divorce from Florence, Roddenberry married Alma. They moved to Bournemouth, England, after rumors and gossip started circling around in Vancouver about his affair and mistreatment to his ex-wife. Three years after marrying Alma, they had a son named John. After having John, the relationship started slowly sinking. They started sleeping in separate rooms and maintained a polite yet distant demeanor towards each other. Their life took a turn when 17-year-old George Stoner was hired as a chauffeur and a handyman for the family. Not long after, Alma, now aged 37, started an affair with the young man and surprisingly Francis had no problem with it. In their brief six-month relationship, Alma lavished George with gifts and clothing. This fueled his hatred for the idea of returning to a life of servitude under Francis, a man he had grown to despise. Alongside this, his belief that Francis intended to terminate their relationship led George to make the fateful decision to end his former boss's life. In the early hours of Friday, March 24th, in 1935, Francis was sat in his drawing room when George entered the room and attacked him with a carpenter's mallet, fracturing his skull, all the while Alma was in the same room. The architect was then carried to his room, and a doctor was called. They explained his injury as a result of a fall, and to their shock, Francis lived for four more days, and then he died at the hospital. After his death, Alma was detained and took the blame. She confessed to the police that she was indeed the one who murdered her husband. However, a few days later, she recanted the confession, putting all the blame on her young lover, after he confessed his crime to a housekeeper. Alma was found not guilty and George, who claimed he was innocent when questioned by the police, faced a different fate, as he was initially sentenced to death. This decision sparked outrage within the city, leading to a massive petition signed by over 300,000 people. 
they believed that Stoner had fallen victim to grooming and manipulation. As a result, his death sentence was commuted to life in prison. Even after being found not guilty, Alma didn't escape the people's judgment. She couldn't handle all the gossip and shame. So three months after her husband's death, Alma stabbed herself six times in the chest at the River Avon. In a last note she wrote, If I only thought it would help Stoner I would stay, but it has been pointed out too vividly that I cannot help him, and that is my death sentence. As for George, he ended up serving seven years after agreeing to serve in the Second World War. Stoner survived the war and ended up settling down and marrying a woman in 1944, later having a daughter. He led a quiet life until he hit the news again in 1990. George, now aged 74, was accused of an indecent assault against a 12-year-old boy, which was blamed on him having Alzheimer's disease. Despite his architectural achievements, Francis Reddenberry's life ended in tragedy and scandal. He was buried in an unmarked grave in Bournemouth, but in 2007, a headstone was finally erected to honor his memory. The son of Francis and Alma, John, carried on his father's legacy by pursuing a career in architecture. He went on to become a highly respected architect, achieving mastery through a period of apprenticeship under the renowned Frank Lloyd Wright. Following Wright's passing, John Raddenberry even took on some of his mentor's projects. Sadly, John Raddenberry passed away in 2021, at the age of 93, leaving behind less than impact on the world of architecture. Thank you for joining us on this case. Until next time, your host Mia, signing off.